Hi and welcome to Car Mechanical. Today I'm going to take you through how to change your oil. I'm doing mine on my 99 Audi A3 TDI. First thing you're going to want if you're doing it on an Audi or VW is going to be an oil filter socket cap. Uh, it just fits onto a normal socket set and you fit it over the oil filter. So unlike normal cars where it's a metal filter, you have a plastic cap and inside is a paper filter. The cap is a little bit tough to get onto a socket at first with an extension, so I just did mine straight as you can see there, and it undoes fairly easy. I'm going to undo the oil sump plug. Um, it was on a bit tight. I tried to do it with a spanner. It was too tight. Decided then to use a breaker bar, as you can see, and it came off easy enough. So just we speed up undoing the filter there. It will come out, and we're just going to drain the oil from the system. So for any car, you're probably going to have the sort of same procedures there. And the reason I did the filter first is because of you don't want to get to draining your oil and you've not been able to undo your filter for whatever reason. And unfortunately, being the type of cap this is, uh, being plastic, unlike the kind of throwaway metal one, if it is stuck, you can't use a sticker hammer and screwdriver for it. So I just want to make sure that undoes. Next thing. Just going to show the oil filter. Um, I buy these from Euro Car Parts in the UK. That filter was about two pound. It's just a paper filter. So I suppose part of the reason VW use the setup is probably a cheaper and easier maintenance item. So you're going to take your cap out, get a paper towel because it's a bit messy. You're going to grab your old filter out, have a bucket at the ready. If you ideally, if you've got someone that can hold it there for you, because you're going to drip oil everywhere because it didn't drain out with the system. So just drop it into your bucket. And you can see as we look in in a second there is a little bit of oil residue and sort of crap on the filter so where it's doing its job. And we'll take a look into the engine bay and you can also see where the oil filter was. There's a little bit of oil left over so that's going to drain back down into the system. But not too much. Okay, so starting with our new oil filter, we're going to take the old gasket off of the filter cap. So I've just stuck a screwdriver in under that and it slips straight out. I'm going to pop the new gasket on. So that comes with the kit. I'm sure it would have been fine to leave the old one on, but I'm sure there's uh, reasons such as wearing out through heat cycling and just sort of time and everything that you may as well change the gasket. They can be a bit tight, just give it a pull or expand it and then pop it into place. You're going to stick the new filter on and that just slides straight into place there. Maybe should have been doing this with clean gloves. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to matter too much, it's going to get crumbed up pretty quick after putting it back into the system. Just line it up, put it in and start to screw it up. Uh, I found with my oily greasy hands I couldn't get the cap done too tight so I've just gone and grabbed some uh, tissue paper or some kitchen paper, wiped it off and then tightened it up. Uh, I've done it up as much as I could do hand tight, I've then done it another quarter of a turn with the uh, oil filter socket. I haven't torqued it, i literally just done it a touch over uh, hand tight so I know it's good and secure. Okay, so I've put oil back in, I'm just checking where it's up to, I'm a bit light here. So I'm going to put the rest of the can in. After you finish, you can dispose of your oil. I put the waste oil back into the can where my new oil came from. And then take it down to my local tip. They've got an area to get rid of that and recycle it. Now the next part is to reset your oil service light. I've got a video on that. That should pop up on screen now. And there's a link in the description below. If you do have any feedback or any comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you have found this video useful and you would like to see more in the future, hit the subscribe button. But more than anything, thanks for watching.